So if you do a lot of bullet journaling, one of the most time-consuming tasks involved in setting up a spread and also the least fun is counting out the dots and working out your spacing. So every time I get a dot grid notebook, I will count the number of dots horizontally and then also vertically and then put it on a sticky note, which I put at the front of the notebook for future reference because every single dot grid notebook has a different count for some reason, even though they're five mil spacing, you know, they've all got slightly different counts and margins and everything and it's really annoying, um, especially if you switch between dot grid notebooks as often as I do. So one tool that I've found which saves a ton of time is this row and column stencil from Ink by Jeng. I liked it so much and I liked her other functional planning supplies. She's got stencils and washi tape um, that I got my sister to stock it and it's in her shop carefully crafted. So this tool is really handy. You can use it for doing spreads like this where it's like portrait ways or also if you wanted to turn the page. And there's not only just the little spacing for the grid, it also has it for the dates. So if you wanted to go across the page or rather down the page, um, whether it's dates or if you want to do times like 1pm, 2pm, etc. Um, it's helpful for that. And then also if you wanted to do a list style monthly calendar, which I tend to do more so than the um, usual box grid that you've seen, then you can count it out you know, up to 30. And if you go like this, you can see... Okay, I've got a few extra spaces down the bottom here. I could put a box down the bottom or actually I could go like this. There's 31 and then I could do a box up the top. Also handy for um, habit trackers as well. And if you wanted to use it for a bullet journal spread, I'll show you how I used it for this simple one here. I know it looks very simple, but it actually does take time to count out the dots. And then I'll usually go, if there's like 40 rows um, vertically, and then I want seven, and then you count that out, and there's always a few extra. And you're like, do I want that at the top or the bottom? With this, you can just get the stencil and then just move it to where you want it. So obviously you want to put it on the last row. Maybe I'll put it over where I did it. And we can see it's lining up. If I zoom in, see how you can see the dots through the little gaps? Which is quite handy. So we can see if you wanted to do this one here, which is five, you would put a little dot in the little hole here as like your marker and you'll have one extra one down the bottom or you could move it down like this and you'd have a little bit extra up the top. So to do my one here, I did the seven. So we can see I've got, see how there's like a marker dot? I always do this with my friction erasable pens or any, you can use any erasable pen, but I like the friction the best. They don't tend to um, stay like they'll fully erase. So I've got one dot here and then I've got the next one and you can see I used that to create my little template. And then if I move that over, you can see I've still got those dot remnants there. And then all you need to do is just rule your line. So it makes it a lot quicker, um, much, much better and time saving. And you can do that um, across the page as well. So if you wanted to do a two column list, you can see I can fit a two column in here and I'll have about 12 dots in between. And you could also do this one here. We've got one, two, three, four up till this here. So you could do a four column if you wanted to do a traditional box style monthly calendar. Or I have this one here in my Dingbats notebook just to show you. Um, I ended up doing a vertical hourly spread, but you could use this to do the four columns for like a calendar. Um, like you know like a square grid most people like to use that calendar format I personally prefer the list format but if you want to do square then you can use this um, tool to count out the dots for you as well so we can see we've got a few options wherever the dots line up where you can do your, your markers or you could go like this okay so I've got space for one two and then it's a bit of a gap so maybe I should look further down Okay, I'm going to do one, two, three. So it's just really handy and helpful, and I really like that it gives you the count as well in between to tell you how many dots there are. Also got the vertical for the monthly. So I've used this mainly for weekly spreads and then just a monthly list style calendar, but you could really use it for anything if you want to do up a grid for like meal planning, habit tracking, etc. Very handy stencil. It is rather thin and this really bendy plastic. I do wish it was a bit sturdier. It has held up all right um, so far. Something a bit more sturdy would be preferable, but for some weird reason, stencils only seem to come in like the thin plastic, which is really unfortunate. So, you know, take what you can get. Um, it saved, definitely saved me a lot of time. So if you like the stencil, I'll have a link down below to my sister's shop where you can get it. And I will have some photos of spreads that I've done using this stencil as well, which will be linked in the description box below.